Hi, welcome guys. MH here. So today I'm gonna be doing a guide or walkthrough for the Digivice IC101X that I have right here with me. And before we start, let's introduce you to the component of the device first. So let's start with this three button first. The first one, the first button is the A or the select button that you will use to scroll uh, between the icons or menu that you will find in the device. The middle button or the second button uh, is also known as the B button or the select button. And the third one is the cancel or the C button. And if you look at, at the bottom of the device, you will see that this thing have a three prong connector. That means that this Digivice can be connected to the other three prong Digivice like Digimon XL, Digimon Mini, and Pendulum X. And at the top of this thing, you will see a metal scanner which is used for scanning the data plate that comes with the Digivice when you bought it. And at the back of this device, you will get a infrared connector that is used to connect with other Digivice IC or Digivice, Digivice Burst. And here is the uh, battery cover you will have to open it when your battery is uh, run out of juice and it use one CR2032 batteries so let's start the device first and this device IC usually uh, will automatically turn off if uh, you are not using it for a couple of moments uh, and so to turn it on just push any of these three button uh, like this long press the button and the device will turn back on so i've been playing with this thing for a while now and currently i'm using agumon which is at the rookie or child level right now as for the gameplay for the digivice ic it is almost similar to the digimon app so where you take care of your Digimon and Digivolve to the higher level by consuming Digisoul or where in Excel it is called um, DNA so to Digivolve to the Digimon that you prefer you must consume certain types of DNA and meet some requirement for Digivolution so first um, let's start with the first menu which is the charge menu in the charge menu you will be given two options the first one is the digital charge and the second one is the dna plate charge so let's start with the digital charge so you in this digital charge options you can gain certain types of digital or items by scanning your hand or metal metal surface so i got a dragon dna and it will be stored in the food menu um, that will, will we will go next after this and now let's try the second option which is the plate charge where you will have to use the DNA plate given to you to scan for items or digital the plate is like this so you put the plate here at the top of it and try to scan this thing So same thing, I got another dragon DNA that will be stored in the food menu. So next, let's move on to the second 
menu which is the Digimon menu so inside the Digimon menu you will be given another four options the first one is the status uh, status option the second one is the items and the third one is the weapon option and the last one is the money option where you can view your money that you currently have so let's start with the first option which is the status option so in here you can view your digimon status such as weight age and others and here it says that my digimon age is four years uh, the weight is 19 19 and the third row um, is my Digimon type which is Dragon and the last row, the fourth row is uh, your Digimon name which is Agumon so next screen uh, it will show you your Digimon level mine is Rookie right now or Child uh, the type or attributes of your Digimon which is uh, either Vaccine, Data or virus mine is vaccine and the third row is your digimon generation so i have been playing uh, with this uh, digivice ic for a while before this and i managed to get a mega level digimon and after that my digimon died so when it dies it leaves an egg when you get an egg you can um, start playing the game again but with the next generation which is I'm doing right now um, I'm using Agumon the second generation and it is believed that the second generation is a lot more stronger than the first generation and if you start the game um, with the next generation you will not lose your items or money so you will still have your previous items and money and the B here the capital B here indicates that your Digimon can already battle and the BT indicates that your Digimon can connect to the battle terminal but however the battle terminal is not available in my country right now and this one is the hunger meter and next um, the reliability meter um, it will decrease if you make a care mistake and can also be increased back by using some items and avoiding care mistakes and let's go to the next screen so one of the best part in this device for me is that you can also view your next devolution so in this menu uh, you can see the shadow of the next uh, evolution of your digimon that you will become so it's easy to track whether you're in the correct path of the digivolution so let's go to the next screen um, here it shows you how many times that you have battle and how many times that you have won the battle and the bottom one is the Digimon code and the last one uh, is also a meter but is different from the reliability meter it is called the connect meter you, the meter will increase if you um, connect with other device for battles and when the meter is full you will be uh, given a random item as a reward so i think that's it for the status let's go to the next option which is the items and in here you can view the items that you uh, currently obtain by either scanning uh, or buying it from shop and winning by uh, fulfilling the 
uh, connect meter so you can view and also use this item if you want to and next is the weapon item so it shows you the current uh, weapon that you currently possess and you can only view it you can't use it unless you're uh, are battling other Digivice IC or in the Colosseum mode and the last one here is the money options that you can view your current money that you have and you can use the money to buy uh, weapon or items at the shop that we will go after this next is the food menu so in the food menu you will be given two options also which is the food and the bottom one is the digi soul so in the food options you can give your digimon food items to increase its hunger level to cure its sickness and to heal your digimon when it is injured in battle and other than that we have uh, some other items like this one it is a level reverse that makes your digimon uh, becomes its previous evolution by eating it and this one makes your digimon uh, reliability uh, to the full so next one next option in the food menu is the digisoul option um, it lets you view uh, the digisoul that you have by scanning before and it lets, lets you give your digimon the digisoul that you want it to have so the four options or menu is the care menu where you can clean your digimon poops or you can choose to turn on or off the lights if your digimon wants to sleep so if you push the first one it will clean your digimon poops and if you push the second one second option you will be able to choose whether to turn on or off the lights and let's move on to the next one which is the Colosseum so in the Colosseum menu you will be given three stage at first the fourth stage will be available only uh, if you clear all the three stage right here and to enter the Colosseum you will need a specific amount of money and each stage has a different difficulty so the easiest will be the stage number one and the hardest will be the stage number three uh, sorry the stage number four which is unavailable right now so next this one is the mini game menu in here you can play a mini game you have three types of mini games the first one uh, in the first mini game you will play a game where you will have to shoot a building and the second one is where you have to guess uh, in which cup chumons is hiding and the third one is a game where you have to dodge uh, poops and if you clear any of these three games you will be given a reward the reward will be uh, the money that you can use to buy items in the shop so next we will go to the connect menu so in here you will have three options uh, the first one is the battle option the second one is the shop 
options and the third one is the battle terminal and if you choose the battle option you can battle other three prong device such as IC um, Digimon XL and the third one is for battling Digimon Mini but in order to battle IC you don't need to connect to uh, you don't need to use the three prong connector you will have to use the infrared connector and if you if we go to the second option which is the shop in here you can buy items or weapon by the money that you have uh, win before so the first shop is the weapon shop you can buy weapon here to help you in your battle and the second shop is the item shop where you can buy items and the third shop is the rare shop items which you can buy rare items but it will cost you a little bit more money and let's go to the third option the third option is the battle terminal option which lets you to connect to the battle terminal however it is unavailable in my country so i have no use for it so uh, for me i can't use this third option and the last icon which is <coughs> sorry which is the call icon will only appear when your digimon wants to eat or sleep so i think that's it for the um, menu that you will find in the game and this device ic also comes with a safe function so you don't have to worry if your uh, device runs out of battery and you just have to change it after you change it then you can play again uh, at the current uh, stage that you're at so other than that um, to go to the clock menu just push the C button and to change or to set the clock push the A and B button at the same time and then you can change the clock So I think that's it for now um, that I'm able to share with you guys. Um, I guess I'm gonna show you the video on how to battle this device IC with other device. Um, let's try it out with my Digimon Mini right here. So let's choose Digimon Mini. So to determine your power, you must push the B button. And now for the Mini turn. So basically Agumon lost because yeah it's still at the child or rookie level right now while my Digimon Mini uh, is already at the ultimate or the um, perfect level which is Metal Greymon so I guess that's it for now and I'll see you guys later